Grace Kitchens presents Creative Cooking. In this series, we showcase the talents of some of our favorite chefs as they demonstrate how to prepare some of their favorite dishes. And now, here is today's host. Welcome to Creative Cooking. My special guest on the program is Carl Hart, certified professional chef, event planner, and playwright. It is indeed our pleasure to have you on the program. My well, pleasure to be here with you. Chef, what's a treat you have lined up for us? Today I have a very special treat and I'm going to prepare for you today a chicken florentine that might sound a little foreign to some of you, it's just simply chicken breast done with like callaloo in a white sauce. I've prepared a beef lasagna which is usually made from ground beef and tomato sauce and cheeses and um, a salad, which anybody can make up a nice salad, garlic bread, which is some garlic on French bread. And lastly, we did a uh, bread pudding with apples, sliced apples and maple syrup and cinnamon and raisins. Really, I'm sure we're going to get mom, mommy drooling. So while I'm talking, I'll just show you how to prepare. This is chicken breast, which has already been cut, and I'm just going to season it lightly with some salt and pepper, right? And we just, I have some oil already hot. I just put a little flour, dust them with a little flour because the chicken could get a little dry. So I like to keep the flour just to seal in the juices, right? Because chicken breast cooks one, two, three. Easy, easy to cook. Then we're going to coat that with a white sauce, which is not quite familiar to some of the taste buds. But what I find with children, they eat pizza and they eat anything Italian. So you can cheat, you can, you, can, you can make them eat it. It doesn't look one of them things that would look unfamiliar and it's pretty. Okay, while that's going, I'm going to do the, the cream sauce, which is made, which in my training it was called a roux, a roux, R-O-U-X, which is just some flour and some butter, which technically is a thickening agent, right? It's recommended that the flour looks a little brown. Mm -hmm. And then nice for diluting flavor. that, mm -hmm. we just use milk. Milk or heavy cream, right? I usually whisk that, okay, till it becomes thick, right? Because we're going to be folding our chicken in this as soon as we saute. Well, this is being thick me. We're going to switch on the hotter burner over here. Now the Florentine, the word spinach is kind of a little unfamiliar, but we have something which tastes to me better than spinach, which is our local callaloo. Now we like to use some garlic, right? And I like to do my garlic and smell up the place with garlic. Simple. Yes. It's fat and roast that in the oil. And we're going to saute some onions. I was going to put some sweet pepper, both red and green pepper, the callaloo. If we're going to cook Italian, we need some oregano. And lastly, the callaloo. Now this callaloo, I don't want it cooking and getting soggy. I want it nice and green and crunchy, right? Because this is what the sauce and coat the sauce. Our chicken, maybe how's the chicken looking over there? Beautiful. I think we can maybe flip okay. them over. For this callaloo, we could still put a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. And we have a little secret ingredient. The basil from your garden. Boy, I just love the smell of this yeah, basil. It really gives a beautiful okay. flavor. And this is something which I usually use to flavor my sauce, which is called cream of mushroom soup. It's available in most supermarkets. And if people don't have And if you don't have soup, that, you, you don't have to have it. But getting a little chefy here. But you could rehydrate the dry um Yes, and you can use you dry have. you can use fresh mushrooms, yeah. just saute that yeah. in this and it just comes just because you already have a cream thing going on here. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. And we do the callaloo. That looking good. I'm going to pack our chicken on top of this. I've already done some pasta. I'm not going to be using spaghetti. You can use penny pasta, you can use macaroni, but I just like spaghetti. It's available. All right? Chef, well, you, you, you know, I mean, I just mentioned three of the crafts, but we know that there are others. 
of the three main ones, mm -hmm. which would you say stands out? Boy, give me my kitchen any day, you know. Any day. Yes. Love my kitchen. Love everything else, but I like to cook. I like to cook for my children, I like to cook for my family, I like to cook for friends. It's an excuse. Outside of that, I can get quite lazy. But I just love to cook. Mm. Your, your mother, your grandmother must have had that, you know. Uh, my mother was the, the cookie of our, of our lifetime. Mm -hmm. She baked, she cooked, we entertained all the visitors who would come to the little district. Okay. So when I went to hotel school, I was kind of semi equipped. Yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. So we now have the Kalaloo, and we're going to incorporate this. If it feels a little thick, don't worry about it. Just dilute it with some thing. And trust me, you're going to love this. Oh. Maisie, oh. could you get the rest of the dinner out of the fridge I, for me, please? I certainly will. I'm here to help. We already did the, 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 the or pasta. Look how nice this looks. It's just nice, plated. With all of this green and the chicken is nice and moist and it's different so we have this thing that we must have rice and peas and chicken on a Sunday well this Sunday we're not giving mommy any rice and peas we're taking her to Italy now that's take the this spread down. and we have a lasagna over here and our garlic salad our garden salad with a vinaigrette dressing and lastly the pudding let us look at the dishes wow isn't this beautiful chef there's a chicken florentine right okay. beef lasagna yes the garden salad with nice garden cherry tomatoes garlic bread and lastly it's a bread pudding but we spice it up with some but Sliced yes. apple, but tell us maple about the syrup. Because we know that there is something special about this bread pudding. And of chef. course, that little secret ingredient. Secret you can't make a bread pudding without white rum, but in this case, mm -hmm. we use a rum cream. Mm -hmm. And I just spoon some melted butter with maple syrup. You can use this as a sauce for that. And I think mommy would just be so happy with this meal. So, oh. bon appetit. A mouth watering treat. A mouth watering treat. Chef. That's pretty. Oh, it is. Not only is it pretty, we know it is divine, isn't it? Well, I'm an apple and cinnamon lover. Uh, so. you know, really is really is very good. Chef. On behalf of the team, we thank you for coming and sharing with us on Creative Cooking. Thank you, Maisie. Thanks, man. This is Chef Season on Creative Cooking, and we hope you enjoyed today's show. Join us every Monday morning at 7.35 as we showcase the talents of some of our favorite chefs, demonstrating some of their favorite dishes here on Smile Jamaica, It's Morning Time. Chef Season continues next Monday morning on Creative Cooking, 7.35 on TVJ and with a repeat at 2.50 p.m. every Sunday afternoon. Don't miss it. <laughs>